In this video, we're going to take our first look at a new feature that TickTick has just come out with called the Timeline View. Now this feature is only available on beta and it's only available for premium users. But we're going to take a look at it and see what sort of uh, new functionality it offers us. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so to get started with the new timeline feature in TickTick, the first thing to know is that it's only out in beta right now, which means it's not available on the regular web app, it's not available on the Windows app or any of the other regular apps. It's only available on the beta web app right now. So in order to get access to it, you have to open up your internet browser and go to beta.ticktick.com. That'll take you to the beta version of the web app. And that's where this feature is available at right now. Now, hopefully it, it comes out of beta soon and we can all use it on the various apps. Uh, but for right now, it's only on beta. And another thing to note is it's only available for premium users. All right, so let me make my tick tick full screen. There we go. And where you're gonna find the new feature at is on a list. So I'm on my major projects list. And if you go up to the three dots towards the top, you can see they have a new view list, which you used to be able to see Kanban view and list view over here on the main menu. They now have a sub menu called view, which also has the timeline view. And so that's where you're gonna to get to the new feature of timeline. So let me just click on that. And this is what the timeline looks like when you first open it up. So basically what this is, in my opinion, is it's another calendar view. So if I look at the top, I see March, I see April, and I see dates across the top. Today's April 4th, and it's highlighted in red. And so this is just another view of the calendar. So if I wanna add a task to my major projects list within the timeline view, I just click. Since I clicked on April 5th, it automatically put April 5th as the due date. I'm gonna say new task. And I'm gonna click off of it. So now you see I have new task and it's due April 5th. But let, let's say that I know that it's going to take me at least two weeks to get that done. So what I can do is I can just take the end of it and I can drag it uh, all the way to two weeks. So let's say all the way to April 18th, that's 14 days. You can see it kind of tells me that. All right, so we've added our first task using the timeline view. It's a new task, it starts April 5th and it ends on April 18th, which is a duration of 14 days. Now let's say that I already have some tasks in my major projects list, which I do, and I want to throw those on here. So what I can do is I can click on the icon on the right that says arrange tasks. And here's all the tasks that I have within major projects. And I can just pick them and drag them on here. So project A, uh, let's start on April 9th, and it's gonna take you know, seven days. I can grab this prepare task, drag it on here. Let's say that it can't start until after project A is done. And it's gonna take three days. And wrap up the project. It can start on the 20th. And it'll last a couple of days. And let's just throw one more on there. Right here, presentation, it has to happen. Um, and I only have two days to get that done there. So you can see that Within my list here, I can schedule things out and I can see what's going on at the same time using this timeline view. Now, right now, all of the tasks are gray and that's not very useful. So there is um, another icon over here on the right called view options. And if I click on that, it allows me to select what the colors represent. So right now the colors are representing nothing, but I could select uh, maybe priority. And so now I can see, well, project A looks like it's high priority, presentation looks like it's medium priority, the rest probably don't have a priority. Uh, so that might be a little more useful to me. Um, I can also select uh, tags. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so I've got some different tags and they show up as different colors. As far as I can tell, you can't really tell what the tag is aside from just um, differing the tasks by color. I don't know what purple represents or what blue represents necessarily. Um, let's try the last one, which is lists. Now this one's interesting too because obviously all of my tasks are green because they're all from the same list. And as far as I understand the new functionality, um, this timeline view is only within one list. So if I go over to my tasks, a different list, 
I have timeline view turned on for that list as well, but I only see tasks that are within that tasks list. I don't see anything from my major projects list. So um, I guess I don't understand how I would ever get different colors from different lists if it's only for one list. Um, so maybe that's some of the stuff they're still working out in this uh, beta version. For now, I'm gonna switch back to priority. And I'm gonna minimize this arrange tasks. The other thing I wanted to show you is that you can change the display scale. So over here on the far right, you can see week is selected, but you can kind of zoom in to the day view and get a closer view. And I'm gonna move it over back to today. So I can see, okay, today is the fourth. I really don't have any tasks uh, for today, but um, tomorrow it looks like I've got new tasks starting and then on the ninth. So it's just a little bit of a zoomed in view uh, when you move into day and I assume month is a little bit uh, zoomed out. So let's take a look. Yep, so a little bit more zoomed out. I can see more into March. And if I go this way, um, I could see into May and, and June even. So if I wanted to schedule my tasks um, for multiple months, I might zoom out to the month view and that would make it easier for me to do that. So one of the claims from TickTick -Tick is that this allows you to keep your uh, planning adaptable. So they say that we all make a plan, right? We have our lists of tasks that we need to get done. But by using this timeline view, we should be able to easily adapt. So let's say uh, my presentation got rescheduled. Um, I can just come and drag this over here. Now it's uh, gonna be the sixth and the seventh. And because of that, well, I can start my preparation uh, maybe right after that. And so I can drag that over. So I can quickly drag and drop tasks to adapt my plan as things come up and as things progress and as things change. Well, that wraps up our first look at the timeline view. You know, in my opinion, it's not that much different than the calendar view, which I don't use that much really at all. And I don't envision myself using the timeline view at all either. Uh, but for someone who uses durations and likes to schedule out their tasks, uh, this might be very useful. Well, anyways, Thanks for watching. Have a good one.